So I wish you guys how to make this peanut brittle no intro because I am sick, but I'm still bringing you guys a video. So here I'm going to put my heat on high. We're going to start off on high heat, add the sugar, and then I have here corn syrup and maple syrup. You can see that those two are in there. They're still separated. So it's actually corn syrup and maple syrup. So I'm going to go ahead and add the two. Okay. Now that's the corn syrup that's going in there. I sprayed the inside of my measuring glass here with cooking spray as well as my spatula that I'm using. It just makes it easier to get everything off so it won't stick. And I'm going to add just some water. I'm just going to be careful not to splash that water on the sides. Just sort of moisten that. I'm just going to swirl the pan a bit. And I'm going to cover this with a lid. And I'm going to let this sit for about two minutes. I'm covering it with the lid so that way we won't have any crystallization on the sides of the pot here. So the water that's been created from the steam will keep the sides of the pot clean. The crystallization will hurt the process so this prevents the crystallization. going to give this a gentle stir we don't want to splash this on the side so let's just be very careful so let's get everything a gentle stir together just to make sure the sugar is beginning to be combined with this corn syrup and water okay so and let that drip off put the lid back on and we're just going to stir this occasionally we're going to bring this to a hard cracks we're going to bring this to a soft crack stage but we need to bring this to a boil first and once this comes to a boil we're going to put our thermometer in and then we're going to keep track of the temperature just move the lid it's beginning to boil so let's gently stir that again gently Okay, so it's beginning to boil. I'm going to stir this very gently. I'm going to let this boil for another five minutes before we put our thermometer in. But I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let that boil for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and it's beginning to boil. I had the lid on because the lid, like I said, creates steam so we won't have any crystallizations on the side of the pot. So I'm going to put my candy thermometer in. And we're just going to begin to cook this until it reaches a soft crack stage. So that's going to be at about 270 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're just going to keep an eye on the thermometer here. Now if you do get some crystallization, we could take a pastry brush and wipe the insides of the pot. But if you see any crystallization begin to form on the side of your pot, just pull your thermometer out. Put the lid on for about 10 to 15 seconds and the condensation will build up and drip the sides of the pot clean. That way you don't have to fuss with a wet pastry brush. So we're getting closer to that stage. Well, let's let this go for another few more minutes. We're at about 200 and we're getting closer to 225. So I want this to get to about 270. Okay, so we're at the soft crack stage. So now I'm gonna add the peanuts. I'm gonna remove the thermometer for a moment. We're going to add the peanuts and we're going to stir the peanuts in. I'm using dry roasted honey roasted peanuts because I just love the flavor of honey roasted peanuts and brittle. So just give everything a stir. We're almost at the hard crack stage. After adding the peanuts, we're going to add the butter. And then we're going to stir everything together. I'm going to move the thermometer. So stir the peanuts and the butter together. Then after stirring the peanuts and the butter together, 
we're going to put our thermometer back in here and let this go until it's at the hard crack stage. And I'm just stirring to make sure everything is broken apart. All those peanuts are separated. If you get any crystallization on the sides of your pot, remember just put the lid on for like 30 seconds. So I'm going to put my thermometer back in. And then once it's at the hard crack stage, we're going to pour this to a 9 by 12 inch baking sheet that I sprayed. So I'm going to turn the heat down to about medium high and just let this go until it's at hard crack. And we're at that hard crack stage, exactly 300 degrees. So my baking sheet here. We move the thermometer. You just soak all that in hot water, it'll come off. So I'm gonna pour the brittle here. Oops. Before I pour the brittle in, fatal mistake here. I almost caught myself messing up. I'm gonna add my baking soda. I'm gonna give that a stir. And then I'm gonna add my vanilla. And the heat is off. It will foam up a little bit. You have to forgive me a little errors because like I said I've been sick so. Okay now we're going to pour this into our baking sheet. And I've already sprayed. It has beautiful, rich, golden color. I'm just going to spread everything evenly across this uh, baking dish, baking pan, and I'm just going to let this cool completely. So here's the peanut brittle. It's sat for a few hours, and I'm just going to kind of give this the cookie sheet kind of a twist, and it kind of loosen that up, and it should just come out. It did. And see that baking spray that I sprayed it down beforehand helps. So I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to take a knife to help break it up. Just take my knife and just sort of, just whack it in different places. And then I have a nice little white box here. You can just take the pieces and stack them up inside the box. Um, now if you desire, you can put parchment paper to separate them so that way they won't stick to each other. But because it's so cold, that's not gonna happen. But in warmer environments, you do wanna take some parchment paper and lay them between each piece individually. You have some pieces that are too big, just work. I see by boxing it this way, it makes a perfect gift. So I'm gonna give this a taste for you guys. Please add this video to your playlist and give me a thumbs up and share this video. Give me a close up so you can see those honey roasted peanut sets on the inside. Mmm. It has a nice crisp to it, so it's perfect. It's not soggy. The texture is not soggy, it's not wet, it's perfect. It's not sticky, so that means we cut the brittle to the proper temperature. And the honey roasted peanuts in here gives an amazing flavor. You can certainly taste the maple, it's mapley, it's buttery, it's perfect for the holidays. Please add this video to your playlist, also please share. 
and leave me a comment down below. And please slip and be well, and let's come together as one. Thanks for watching.